Welcome back to 1011 this morning. Becky Keller is a forensic video technician with LPD. She's here for another week of Crime Stoppers. Becky, how's it going? Good. Good. Happy Wednesday. Yeah. Uh, we are checking out two cases today. What's the first case that we're going to look at? So I brought this first case here so folks can see the theft of a catalytic converter in action. This happened in the area of 40th and Old Cheney. Two suspects here arrive in the vehicle shown. They work together um, to quickly cut it off oh and goodness. take it with them. So if anybody has any tips or information on this or really any of the catalytic mm -hmm. converter thefts in the area, they can help out by sending that information our way. It's a, it's a problem around here. It's crazy because it looks like it's in the middle of the day. It was, yeah, it was in the afternoon. Middle of the day yep. and certainly like people are around, you can hear it. Yep, my neighbor had theirs stolen and it happened and within 30 seconds by the time I ran out there to to confront them, the, the people that were cutting off were already driving away with oh it. Oh my so goodness. It happens very quick. It's very scary. Uh, what's the second case? Well, you can see they're running away. <laughs> what's the second case we're going to check out? So this video here, um, the victim was parked, uh, the, his SUV was parked at the Super C on West A Street. He ran into the store. The suspect there in the gray pants jumped into the SUV. Um, the victim sees this happening and runs and takes off after the car. Um, they, they catch up to it just about a block away from the gas station here. Um, he grabs onto the window because it was rolled down a little mm -hmm. bit, the driver's side window. And you'll see that red line there. The suspect in this case uh, took off with him hanging from the car <gasps> for a little bit over a block. Oh my gosh. They end up at the Willard Community Center here. <gasps> Um, and the suspect's gonna keep driving the victim's vehicle. You can't see, but he's hanging from the driver's side window still. Oh my gosh. And um, the suspect then crashes into this van in the parking lot, um, and the victim's able to, to, to come off of the vehicle, and the suspect takes off. Take a look at these images, though. The suspect um, runs to the Casey's gas station nearby, and is just cool, calm, and collected, and walks in, and we get some uh, good images of them there, so. Um, Maybe they're not going to play. They can check them out. Oh, here oh, it is. Oh, okay. it is. All this stuff's also on LincolnCrimeStoppers.com, so if people want to get a second look at that video or okay. images of her. Um, the victim described her as a female. She has a unique braid there hanging from the left of, uh, of her face. Okay. Um, all sweats, gray. She did have on two different colored, I want to say foot items, because I'm not sure if it's shoes or if one Socks. of them was a leg brace or um, she okay. had something going on there, but one was a lighter color and one was a darker color. Yeah, this is <laughs> very shocking uh, videos that we have, surveillance video. Okay, so if you know anything about the two cases that we just talked about, send your tips to Crime Stoppers. You can submit an anonymous tip through the P3 app. It's available for both Apple and Android devices. You can always call Crime Stoppers at 475-3600. Leave a tip online at like in crimestoppers.com.